Global Marketing. Lecture 1. Introduction to Global Marketing. Definition of International and Global Marketing. Professor Ava Branovska. Learning Objectives. 1. Understand differences between domestic, international, and global marketing. 2. Know how to determine the key steps in the international marketing planning process. 3. Understand the motives for going international. 4. Distinguish between main international orientations. Marketing Definition Marketing is a management process responsible for identifying, anticipating and satisfying customer requirements profitably. Thus marketing involves 1. Focusing on the needs and wants of customers, 2. Identifying the best method of satisfying those needs and wants, 3. Orienting the company towards the process of providing that satisfaction, 4. Meeting organizational objectives. Chartered Institute of Marketing, 2012 Domestic Marketing The company operates in a series of controllable variables such as price, advertising, distribution and the predator service attributes in a largely uncontrollable external environment it is made up of different economic structures, competitors, cultural values and legal infrastructure within specific political or geographic country boundaries. International Marketing involves operating across a number of foreign country markets in which not only do the uncontrollable variables differ significantly between one market and another, but controllable factors in the form of cost price structures, opportunities for advertising and distributive infrastructure are also likely to differ significantly. Global Marketing Management A larger and more a complex international operation Company coordinates, integrate S and control so holy series of marketing programs in Joasps. The primary objective of the company is to achieve a degree of synergy in tax rates, labor rates, skill levels and market opportunities. The organization so holy will be greater than is methods experts. The international market planning process. Three approaches to the process. One top-down planning. Senior managers setting goals and developing quite detailed plans from middle and senior staff to implement. McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sony, two bottom-up planning. Different parts of the company around the globe they prepare their own goals and plans and submit them to headquarters for approval. Three goals down, plans up. An attempt to benefit from the positive elements of the first two approaches. Companies with a very diverse portfolio of businesses and products. Stages of International Marketing Planning 1. Formulation of Core Strategy Unbundling of Strategic Business Units SBU. 2. Situation Analyses 3. Marketing Competitive Analyses 4. Formulating Competitive Global Marketing Strategy 5. Global Marketing Program Development 6. Organization, Implementation and Control of this Strategy Main Barriers in Marketing Planning 1. Lack of clear distinction between marketing strategy and marketing tactics. 2. Isolation of marketing functions. 3. Domination of structural over functional approach. 4. Underestimation of analytical skills importance. 5. Difficulties in finding and processing of market information. 6. Lack of discipline and continuity in planning process. 7. Emphasize definition and ranking of goals. 8. Inadequate and marketing culture. Barriers to internationalization of the firm. Management emphasis on developing domestic markets. Limited budget. Insufficient knowledge. Lack of strategic perspectives. Lack of foreign market connections. Lack of productive capacity. Lack of access to channels of distribution. Cost escalation. Resistance to change into knowledge based organization. Motives to go international, 1. Proactive. Profit and growth aims. Manage aerial urge. Technology. Advancement. Foreign market opportunities. Economies of scope and scale. Tax benefits. Motives to go international, 1. Reactive. Competitive pressures. Shrinking domestic market. Excess capacity. Unsolicited foreign orders. Expanding sales of seasonal products. Proximity to international customers. Motives to go international, 2. Internal. Perceptive management. Specific internal event. Importing as inward internationalization. Motives to go international, 2. External. Market demand. 
competing firms, trade associations, outside experts, main international orientations, ethnocentric, polycentric, regiocentric, geocentric, arrow, notched right oval 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 oval, ethnocentric, the home country is superior in the needs of the home country are most relevant. Essentially headquarters sextance was of doing business to its foreign affiliates. Controls are highly centralized and the organization and technology implemented in foreign locations will essentially be the same as in the home country. Polycentric, each country's unique and therefore should be targeted in a different way. The polycentric enterprise recognizes that there are different conditions of production and marketing in different locations and tries to adapt to those different conditions in order to maximize profits in each location. The control with affiliates is highly decentralized and communication between headquarters and affiliates is limited. Regiocentric, the world consists of regions. The firm tries to integrate and coordinate its marketing program within regions, but not across them. Geocentric, the world is getting smaller and smaller. The firm may offer global concepts with local adaptation think global, act local. Pearl Matter, 1969, Kekravertsi and Pearl Matter, 1985. Macroeconomic Environment. Product. Price. Distribution. Promotion. Cultural. Demographic. Economic. Environment. Natural. Political. Technological. Pressed calm factors. Political, P, regulatory, R, economical, E, sociocultural, S, competitive, C, organizational, O, market, M, legal. Political environment. Political risk is defined in a day stress go for laws when invest in any given town, such as taxes, tariffs, expropriation of fists, or restrictions and repatriation of profits. Three major types of political risk. One ownership risk. Exposes property and life. To operate in risk, refers to interference with the ongoing operations of a firm. 3. Transfer risk, encounter with attempts to shift funds between countries. Exposure to political risk. 1. The action of legitimate government authorities, total or partial expropriation. Forced divestiture. Confiscation. Non applicability of national treatment. Restriction in access to financial, labor, or material markets. Controls on prices, outputs, or activities. Currency and remittance restrictions. Value added and export performance requirements. Exposure to political risk. 2. Events caused by factors outside the control of government. War. Revolution. Extortion. Strikes. Terrorism. Nationalistic buyers or suppliers. Threats and disruption to operations by hostile groups. Externally induced financial constraints. Externally imposed limits on imports or exports. Economic environment. Demand factors. 1. Current income. 2. GDP, Big Mac Index, PPP, Purchasing Power Parity, 3. Price Level, 4. Inflation Rate. Exchange Rate Policy. Economic Relations. Transnational Institutions Affecting World Trade World Trade Organization, WTO International Monetary Fund, IMF World Bank Regional Institutions, EU, NAFTA, Mercosur, etc. Main Types of Trade Associations Tariffs AD Valorem Specific Compound Non-Tariff Barriers Quantitative Restrictions Quotas Numerical export. Control. Embargoes. Voluntary export restraints. Barriers to world trade. Restrictive practices. Product and testing standards. Restricted access to distribution networks. Public sector procurement policies. Regulatory controls. Currency controls. Investment controls. Customs entry procedure. Culture definition. One collective e programming is the mind which distinguishes the members of one man group from another. Two, it is the learned way in which a society understands, decides, and communicates. Layers of culture. One, national culture, business culture, company culture, individual behavior, and decision maker. S. Holmsen, 2007.
layers of culture to